Good afternoon and a very warm welcome to you. My name is Malcolm Harrison and on behalf of the team at Penwood I would like to welcome you to our CRPS Diploma course. As of the 1st of September we're delighted to be welcoming 36 new students to our CRPS Diploma course. This short video will aim to explain to you what you can expect from the course, how it works and what will be required from you in order to achieve success. The CRPS Diploma course comprises of five modules. Each will be assessed by an assignment, a work-based assignment, at the end of each course. The course is designed for all purchasing students, whether they work in the public sector, private sector, large companies or small companies. Details of the modules and all the learning outcomes can be found on our website. On completion of all five modules, CIPS will send you a completion certificate. At Penwood, we aim to keep the administration effective and efficient, and we request that you email any administration issues to Sandra Greaves. There are three things that you need to do. Firstly, you need to register with CIPS as a student member. Secondly, we ask that you email to Sandra a Penwood registration form and a work-based registration form. Both forms can be obtained from our website. And thirdly, we ask that the invoices are paid promptly. When you've registered with Penwood, we will firstly issue you with a CRPS study guide, one study guide per module, and provide supporting learning material for your studies. And secondly, we will register you with CRPS for each module assignment and provide confirmation of that by email. So, how does the diploma course work? Well, there are five modules to be completed. Each module will be taught separately and all the learning outcomes will be taught during the lectures. We will email you the assignment tasks towards the end of the course. During the class, you will be guided in planning your answers to the assignments. You will need to allocate approximately one and a half to two hours to, in presenting each assignment task, and there are three in total. On completion of each task, you are invited to email your, your work to your tutor during the course, and up to ten days after the final lecture. You will receive concise written feedback within seven working days in a structured format to guide you in your work. The format for presenting assignments and final hand-in date are published on our website, along with examples of previous work and previous questions. At Penwood, we aim to provide a safe learning environment at both our centres. Our two centres both have CCT cameras, disability access and facilities. Your tutor will inform you of the evacuation procedures and we keep a list of the student emergency numbers just in case. And you're reminded to keep all valuables safe. And finally, on behalf of all the staff at Penwood, we hope you achieve success in all your studies. Good luck. <laughs>